Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I celebrate my own self, MC Bernardino. Thank you very much for always coming back, especially for you guys that always come back to this YouTube channel. It's a community that we're actually building and it's all because of you. This channel is actually growing tremendously. Kudos to your support. Thank you. Thank you very much. And for those of you that are new on this channel, probably this is your first time on coming to this channel. This is Canada Immigration with MC Bernardino where I dish out information for those that want to migrate into Canada. All right, so on today's episode, I brought to you a fantastic topic just like I always do. I delve into research and I brought this to you. Okay, so today I have brought this video that says top five reasons why you should submit your express entry profile. Once again, top five reasons why you should submit your express entry profile, irrespective for whatever score you have. All right, guys, so you want to hang on tight, call everybody around to grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. Today's episode is loaded as usual. Shall we begin? welcome back so for those of you that don't really know what can it uh, what express entry is all about all right so express entry is a pro program that was designed by Canadian government it came into existence in January 2015 all right so so it's the program that was designed by federal government of Canada just to bring in people to Canada through three different programs uh, federal skilled workers program federal trade program and also Canadian experience program so you can qualify through I any of these three so that is it so Express entry. So, are you there and uh, you feel uh, you have some qualification, but your score is a little bit low? And as a result of that, you have not created your profile. On today's episode, I'll be giving you five good reasons why you should create your profile, irrespective of your score, in the uh, in the ex um, express entry. So, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, guys, once again, please take some few moments. I mean, why are you always coming back to this channel and you don't want to subscribe? Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and the notification bell beside it. Click on it so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And also, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, with anybody that you actually feel might need it. Thank you very much. This is a community that we're building. Kudos to you guys. All right, so the top reason why you should create an express entry profile irrespective of your score. Number one, yes, you cannot actually predict what this next call will be, the next draw, what this call will be. As a result of that, you don't want to limit your chances so that's why i want to tell you that irrespective of what your score is after you have done the calculation create your express entry profile because you cannot really tell what this next score will be i want to take you back memory in 2015 when this express entry actually started the level the lowest score in 2015 was 450 yes and going forward to 2016 the score keep increasing and in 2016 the score in, the lowest score in 2016 for the year of 2016 was 453 now proceeding forward into 2017 that was when we had the lowest score ever in express entry and that was 413 at the points in a particular month in 2017 the lowest score was 413 i think that was in September if I'm not mistaken. So going forward to 2018, the lowest score in 2018 was 439. I mean 439. And in 2019, the lowest score was 438. And now we are in 2020. So guys, because of this, going by this trend, I know the last draw that was done in January 20, 22nd, 2000. 20 was the last draw was 471. As a result of that, some people feel uh discouraged as a result of that probably they are in their 450s they are in their four or early 400s as a result of that they feel what's the point of creating the profile but guys how will you feel when they when suddenly they do the next draw and they do something like 430 and it was just because you didn't create your profile that's why you were not nominated you were not chosen you were not invited to apply because of that i just want to advise you that it won't cost you anything go online now i'll be linking the how you can create your profile in the video description below create your profile irrespective irrespective of what your score is create your profile and guys just quickly tell you again that don't forget that for the fact that you score for they, uh, they did the draw for 450 and you score and your score is 450 doesn't automatically mean they will invite you don't forget that they always have a cutoff i mean if they do a draw today they probably always have a cutoff two weeks before. So, guys, you need to create your profile now. There are so many reasons why you need to do that. And the number one reason is you cannot predict what the next draw will be. All right. All right. Number two, provincial nominee. I mean, guys, for the fact that um, your express entry point is lower than what the uh, 
the last straw was it's not enough reason for you to uh not to create your express entry profile now another reason is the provincial nominee guys don't forget that there are so many there are, we have 10 provinces in Canada and three territories in Canada and they have their own provincial nominee and some of these provinces they go into the poll to go and select candidates based on their experience their qualifications criteria like this I mean I can tell you I, I mean in my previous video I've told you how I was invited by Ontario provincial nominee because I had my bachelor's and I have experience too so guys because of this you don't want to limit you don't want to mitigate yourself by not creating your express entry profile irrespective of your score so I just want to advise you irrespective of what your score is early 400s whatever your score is guys uh, even if your score is in the 300 i still want to advise you go and create your profile because i know so many people that were nominated by nova scotia british columbia saskatoon just because they have the qualification the job experience that they actually need irrespective of their score they probably at the end of the day when they go through your profile when they when they give you a take for instance in saskatoon give you an invitation to apply if you submit all the documents and they feel everything is right they will give you additional 600 points and that 600 point will be added to what your initial score is so hypothetically if your initial score was 350 and they gave they, they they give you the 600 that means automatically you have 950 that means in the next draw you will definitely be invited this are a lot of the reasons why you why i feel that you should create your profile irrespective of what your score is because so many provinces are there that are in looking in the poll daily looking for a particular candidate and that candidate might be you and you don't want to limit yourself just because you feel your score is low and as a result of that you don't want to create your profile so go create your profile now because the next candidate that will be chosen by any province might be you all right guys i hope you are enjoying this video if you enjoyed this video once again please click on the likes button if you enjoyed this video once again share this video with your loved ones drop a comment if you have any concern about your express entry how to create the profile or probably you have one problem or the other that you're facing with your IELTS with your worst evaluation feel free to drop it in the comment section below I always oblige by answering your question so number three on the top five reason why you should create your express entry profile now is if you create your express entry profile now it will give you an urge to us to continue to strive to get better irrespective of your score i mean if you create your profile now and hypothetically your score is 420 for example because of that it gives you the all to feel okay my score is 420 how can i improve that is it should i take the IELT again should i take the soul pip exam exam again should i try to uh um take another language probably i can do better in my uh in french this time and maybe you only have english or is it your work experience that you feel you need to do some tweaking around what do you need to do so these are so many reasons why you should create your profile in the first place because when you create that profile you already have it in your mind promotion is there that i'm already in the profile i'm already in the pool how can i announce how can i improve my score so i'm advising you today that if you haven't created your profile probably because you feel that your score is so low that there's no point creating it think twice because you might be making a mistake and when the next draw is done you might have to regret that for the rest of your life so why not just go into the pool i'll be linking it in the web in the video description below create your profile irrespective of your score because when you do the next draw you might have a reason to smile again all right guys so number four on the top five reasons why you should create your express entry profile now will be that there are so many pro programs that are offered by canada immigration government and as a result of that you want to tap into that some of them are affiliated with the express entry and as a result of that if you don't create your express entry profile now you might be left out already i told you about the provincial nominee still guys don't forget that there is also the rural and northern immigration pilot program that was created last year so guys because of that you might want to create your profile and also don't forget about the atlantic immigration pilot program that was also created to by canada immigration government and also the agri uh, pilot program so there are numerous numerous programs that are created some of them are affiliated with express entry why some of them are devoid of the express entry so guys for those that are for the program that are affiliated with express entry you want to take advantage of that and create your profile i mean once again i'm telling you that just don't go by the fact that this draw is so high in the last few months in the last few weeks the draw has been high the last one was 471 as a result of that there's no point for me to create a profile because they won't invite me you are limiting your chances by doing that and once again the only thing that will cost you to create a profile will be just to sit down for 30 45 one hour max 
and create your profile and um, but once again guys let me tell you this that for the fact that i tell you to create your profile doesn't mean that you should misrepresent yourself doesn't mean that you should put information that you don't have i mean because i've seen instances whereby someone inflated his high health score just because he wants to be nominated and as a result of that he was eventually nominated and when he told him to provide all the documents he could not provide the substantial document to back that up and also i've seen this inst i've seen instances and many of you have also seen instances whereby some students were uh, sent out of canada because of fake IELTS results there are so many fake IELTS um institution out there that keep telling you that you don't need to sit to an exam they can help you out with your result i don't encourage that what i encourage on this channel is hard work and steadfastness so if people are telling you that they can help you with your IELTS result you don't have to sit for your exam they can help you inflate your, your score they are only trying to scam you they are only trying to take your money because canada immigration irlc they have a way of always verifying all this information so don't fall for these scammers because at the end of the day you'll be the loser Canada immigration projection. Yes, when you go by the Canada immigration projection, I mean, that's another reason why you need to create your profile. From 2018 to 2021, Canada immigration, IRCC, they projected that one, over 1 1.3 million people will be coming into Canada. And statistically, if I have to tell you this, I will tell you that in 2017, it was projected that 300 300,000 people came into Canada. It was increased in 2018 to 310,000 people. In 2019, that was last year, 330,000 people were projected to have come into Canada through the immigration process. And in 2020 that we are now, we are looking at, Canada Immigration is looking at bringing over 350,000 people into Canada. And same thing for 2020, 2021, which is next year too. Because of this projection, that is why you need to create your profile because how do they bring in these people into the program into canada canada has over eighty thousand different programs to bring in people into canada study work express entry provincial nominee rural immigration numerous of them so that is why i want to tell you that you might not qualify for all the 80 programs but for the little ones that you qualify for why not take advantage of that and that's why i decided to bring this video to you i'm in canada i mean and that's why i'm telling you when you look at the population of canada population of canada is just 37 million people and when you look at the landmass of canada canada has the largest landmass after russia because of that they need people to come into canada don't be left out of this opportunity if you feel you qualify for this express entry why not just create your profile irrespective of what your score is? And I'll tell you gladly that if you do that, it might take you a long time. I know that when you create your profile after one year, it expires and you have to create a new profile. Still don't feel dejected by that. Don't feel discouraged by that. I mean, there are so many reasons why you should not feel discouraged. For the fact that you're, um, you're, you created last year and by this year, it's got um, expired and you have to create a new one. Take some few moments, one hour maximum, create another profile. And also another, another reason why you're score might be dropping again is because of your age i know the age might drop your score and as a result of that you might want to feel discouraged but i'm here to tell you that don't feel discouraged because of that what you should be looking at is don't look at those, those things that bring down your score but rather focus on things that can actually help you to increase your score things like taking the IELTS exam again taking another language if it's only english you've done look at if you can take um, some courses in French and see if you can boost your score with that. Another thing again is that your work experience, these are ways that you can actually improve your score. But once again, irrespective of what your score is, just create the express entry. You don't have to pay money for you to create the express entry profile, right? So why not just create it? And those are the top five reasons why I feel it is worth it for you to create your express entry profile irrespective of what your score is now. All right, so wait for it, guys. I'll be telling you what happens next after you must have created your express entry profile. So I've created your profile, and why you're still waiting for your ITA to be extended to you, why you're still waiting for the draw to probably uh, get up to what you have and you to be invited. One thing you can do is that you need to get your document ready, guys. You only have 90 days after you must have been invited to apply for your permanent resident or provincial nominee to apply. So that 90 days, you might feel that it's a long time, it's three months, but if you're not ready, if you're not prepared for it, it might take you aback. I mean, you might be taken aback. So what I would advise you is that get your document ready. What are the documents you need to get ready? If you have your, if you have done your IELTS, make sure that you have gotten your certificate. I mean, it is very paramount that you get your certificate. And also make sure that the IELTS exam that you must have taken as an expired. Don't forget that IELTS exams, they expire after two years. So you want to be on top of that because you don't want a situation whereby you got invited and you look at the certificate
navigate and you discover that it is over two years that might be a trouble and also another thing again you need to do is that if you need to do the exam again you might want to look into that so don't forget that when you apply to part of things that you need to get ready is your police certificate guys i've seen situation whereby people forget this aspect of it because don't forget that in the last 10 years they want you to submit the police certificate police report of places that you have lived in in the last 10 years i mean we've got people that have traveled to so many parts of the world you need to show especially if you have lived in that part of the world for a minimum of six months you need to so show a police certificate for living in that particular country so you need to get all those things ready guys those things might not come so easy i mean for people that have been to the uk you might really get that fast but there are some countries that if you have to apply for the police certificate because you've lived there it might take you a longer period of time as a result of that you want to prepare be ahead of time by making sure that you have your police certificate ahead of time before you are invited another thing again is that don't forget that you need to create uh, a job uh, find a job on the this, uh, this CIC website that you need to look for job. I mean look for job match You need to also create the profile in that job bank too So that's another thing again you want to do while you're still waiting for your ITA So that's another thing again you want to do while you're waiting in the ITA And don't forget I told you that if you feel that your score is probably going to drop because of your age Or because of so many factors your prior your score might be dropping Another thing again you might want to do again is that I know it costs money, I know it's time consuming, but it's going to worth it at the end of the day. You might want to take the test of English again. If you're in Canada, you can take the SOPIP. If you're outside Canada, you can take the IELT again, just to make sure that you increase your score. I mean, it's worth doing, I mean, anything worth doing is worth doing well. So that's another thing again you might want to do. So make sure that your profile is up to date. That's another thing again. I mentioned it in the past and I'm mentioning it again. Make sure your profile are up to date. Don't forget, I know that the profile lasts for one year. I mean, make sure that the moment it expires, don't get discouraged. Create another profile again. I mean, at the end of the day, the benefit is going to be for you. So don't get discouraged. It's discouraging, I know, but stay on top of it. Yeah, so this and so many reasons, this and so many things are what you need to get ready while you're in the pool waiting for the ITA. I hope I've been able to encourage somebody out there. I hope I've been able to motivate somebody out there that do not get discouraged irrespective of your, what your score is in the express entry. Create a profile today. I mean, for those of you that don't know how to create a profile, let me know, drop it in the comment section below. I might be doing a video on how to create a profile. And there's this thing I want to tell you guys. If you feel like you want me to do a live video, let's do a live stream whereby it's going to be interactive it's going to be a live session you can send me your question i can answer your question drop it in the comment section below because i'm here to serve you guys i know it's so hard i mean it, i know it's not so easy especially for those of you that are outside canada to amass a lot of score i know it's kind of very challenging but i'm here to just encourage you if it works for me if it works for some of the people that have been watching this video that are out that were outside canada before and are now in canada now it can actually work for you too so don't be discouraged about this thing guys Let's go to the thing about this segment where I always give you a quote. You guys ponder on it, you get motivated by it, and it always works for you. All right, viewers, on the thing about this segment, I've got this interesting quote from North Quote Parkinson's that simply says, Delay is the deadliest form of denial. Delay is the deadliest form of denial. All right, people, that is pretty and self explanatory. Delay is the deadliest form of denial. I mean, just to collaborate what I've told you guys today, delaying your creating your express entry profile is the deadliest form. You have, you're just denying yourself the opportunity of fulfilling your dream of migrating into Canada. So, just again, creating your profile is not going to cost you money. The only thing it's going to cost you is the time maximum of one hour that you're going to use to create your profile. So, guys, once again, leave whatever you're doing right now go create your profile irrespective of your score all right guys i hope you actually enjoyed the video i brought for you today on top five reasons why you should create your profile in the express entry irrespective of your scores here if you have any questions guys if there's anything you don't understand in this video that i presented to you today if there's additional information that you need feel free to drop it in the comment section below and guys once again if you enjoyed this video please 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 drop the likes button share this video with your loved ones and if you haven't subscribed please i beg you please i beg you once again subscribe to this youtube channel see your own boy mc bernardino on the program canada immigration Thank you very much. Until I come back to you guys with another award-winning, scintillating and fascinating, educative video on Canada immigration. Guys, stay out of crime. One love. Subscribe.